So, today, February 9th, 2015, it's getting official that the HSBC, Swiss Geneva Bank, has been dealing in terrorism financing, weapon sales for genocides, drugs, prostitution, organ harvesting, child pornography, you name it, worth $100 billion. And this is only one of the many Swiss banks. And don't have yourselves fooled by that name, HSBC for Hong Kong Shanghai Bank Corporation, because all banks are Swiss banks, in fact. When the Templars founded Octagon Switzerland and the Swiss banks on August 1st, 1291, in the last year of the Crusades, see my video, The Pharaoh Show. They just went viral afterwards, globally founding Swiss banks under local names abroad. So the motherland in the Alps can't be blamed for responsibility. And Octagon did the same with the military wing, installing that Octagon Worldwide Blue Army to control us, the people. You all see the pyramid in their logo, do we now, eh? from the top. Here's the top, the capstone. And these are the sides here, you see. In the Swiss colours, of course, red and white, the colours of the Templars. Well, this is a Swiss bank. It has nothing to do with Hong Kong or Shanghai. <laughs> it's all Templar stuff. This is, this is the Templars logo here, you know. I told you, if you, if you fold it out like in another way, you get the Templars, the Templars cross. Now, if you turn these and these like around, you get the, the, the Templars cross. Just see my other video about that. So you can read the whole story. This is happening now on February 9th. It's been going on for a while. Yeah, February 9th, 2015. So thanks to the French uh, Hervé Falciani, who was a computer engineer at the Swiss a a HSBC bank, and managed to get the data of 106,000 criminals out. So Swissy officially indicted him for that in December 2014 to have him extradited to Switzerland by Interpol to have him suicided, just as they did with Wolfgang Umfogel for the same reason. Here you can see it. They, the Swissy wanted to have him extradited. They indicted him, you know, and they've killed quite a lot of people. Some Albanians, you know, they have they they had him extradited by uh, to Switzerland uh, by Interpol, and the Swiss murdered him in in a couple of months' time. There was dead Getschai, and uh, they did the same with Wolfgang Umfogel in, in two weeks only. They murdered him. Wolfgang also wanted to uh, sell banking uh, CDs uh, about tax evasion and. Uh, so you see what, what what a bold Swiss liars they are, you know. They are the criminals, and they have him indicted, you know. The criminals have a this good man indicted. This is how bold Swiss liars they are. So so this on Wikipedia. Well, you can read it yourself. And when you talk about it it's in, in an international newspaper, as I did in 2010, then Swissy sends you the terrorist police, lie things together to get you into prison based upon evil Swiss lies and turn your life and that of your family into a hell. So here it can be witnessed that it's not the criminal Swiss Nazi banks alone, but they're backed up by the Swiss Mafia authorities and the entire Swiss people, where all good people have been breeded out over the centuries. So, this is the, uh, the article here. Here you can uh, read my name here. This is my name, and I got arrested for this, for saying this here. They arrested me with an anti-terrorist squad because of this. And they lied, they just lied something together. They gave the order for the police to lie something together. So that was in the Austrian Kronenzeitung. 
2010. So just as Hervé, the French guy in the AHBC affair, this Austrian guy was, uh, well, he didn't make it. These Swiss banks own the Swiss police. In my case, of me writing about the Swiss premeditated murder of Wolfgang Umfogel and the, the tax evasion CDs he wanted to sell, some Swiss Freemasons of the banks called up some pals of the Swiss SVP Nazi Party, of the Swiss Fascist, fascist Justice Department, and to have that South African shut up for good. Because Swiss banks are the, in, are the in the interest of the Swiss people. Then they gave the order to the Swiss Nazi police, who handed out the order to the aggressive and corrupt Swiss cop Hans Rudolf Kuni and his dirty criminal colleague to aggress me and lie some things together, because there's big money involved concerning big time Swiss banking crimes. So that's me, and this is the article in the Swiss newspaper. This is the filthy cop here, very aggressive. You can even, I've got a video where you can see him hitting me. And they tried to put me in prison. Can you imagine? Well, it's all this story about the article I wrote in the Austrian newspaper, just as what's going on now with the HSBC bank. This is what's behind. And the Swiss are just a bunch of filthy, organized, criminal, Nazi liars. So this is my YouTube channel, and go have a look at this video. Actually, I'm not allowed to talk about this guy anymore, you know, because... They are threatening to put me in prison if I do. So what do you want to do now, Swissy? Eh? You want to put a gun on my head again, just like last time with your terrorist Nazi police? So what do you want to do, Swissy? I'm not going to shut up, you criminals. The ICIJ, International Consortium of Investigative Journalists, is making it public now through the Swiss leaks. And all of today's events of uh, February 9th, 2015, hang together with the re-evaluation of the Swiss franc in January 2015. And Swiss secret deals with the Chinese monetary sector also in January 2015, which proves that Swissy has only been stalling time to the European community and the Euro, while lying through their teeth as usual. As the entire Swiss history is based upon lies, with the entire Swiss Nazi people solidly in crime, forming the biggest mafia the world has ever seen, called Octogon of the Alps. Switzerland has always been the enemy of mankind. Let's clean the rat's nest out.